Sweet potato farmers struggle to save planting material in very dry areas. Many farmers leave roots in the field to sprout when the rains come, but these roots produce few and poor quality planting vines, resulting in delayed planting and lower crop yields. There is a better way that produces more cuttings leading to increased yield, following the Triple S method sand, storage, and sprouting, this video will show you how to store sweet potato roots to produce enough good quality cuttings to plant your entire field at the beginning of the rainy season to increase yield and provide an early harvest of nutritious food available well before your other crops. One month before sweet potato harvest, Mark 25 healthy sweet potato plants in your field by inserting a stick next to each selected plant. At harvest, you will store approximately 40 mature roots from these plants as the source of seed for the next growing season. Roots for storage must come from healthy plants, so three to five days before harvest, check the selected plants. Look for plants that are stunted or have curled or bubbly leaves, indicating sickness, and at the stem near the ground for signs of weevil attack. Do not use the roots from any of these plants for storage. Roots for storage must come from healthy plants. To harden the skin of the root for better storage, three to four days before harvest, cut the vines down from the healthy staked plants leaving about 15 centimeters of the stem, about the length of your hand from your wrist to the top of your fingers. Harvest when the soil is fully dry, taking care not to cut or damage the roots. Cut or damaged roots cannot be stored in Triple S. At harvest, you will store about 40 medium-sized roots, about the size of your hand, from these staked plants for seed for the next season to produce about 1,500 cuttings. Remove dirt from the roots using only your hands. Do not wash the roots. Place them under shade for a few hours away from direct sunlight. To store your roots, you will need newspaper for lining your container, a container with solid sides and wide at the top, large enough to hold at least 40 roots in layers. A wash basin, clay pot, tightly woven basket or bucket is best. Do not use a cardboard box unless you can ensure it will stay dry. Jute or plastic sacks cannot be used. You will need to gather enough dry, coarse sand to fill your container. Sand can be collected from the riverbed, street, yard, or surrounding areas. Dry and cool the coarse sand inside or under shade. Make sure it is free from trash and completely dry. If your sand is fine, wet, or warm, it will cause your roots to rot. To store your roots, cover the container's bottom and sides with sheets of newspaper. Then add a two to three centimeter layer of dry, coarse sand, about the depth to your thumb's first knuckle. Place a single layer of sweet potato roots onto the sand. Make sure they do not touch each other or the sides of the container. Cover these roots completely with another layer of dry, coarse sand. Continue to layer roots and sand until the container is full. Make the final sand layer 10 centimeters deep, about the depth of your longest finger, to keep rodents, insects, and chickens from reaching the roots. Do not cover the container. 
Store it in a cool, dry place away from children, chickens, heat, and rain. Leave it untouched until it is time to check the roots. Check the roots once per month to make sure they are healthy. Remove each root from the container for inspection, discarding any that are rotten or show weevil infestation. Remove sprouts from the roots. Refill the container with the remaining healthy roots exactly as before. Do this each month until six to eight weeks before the rains begin. You will inspect your roots at the last time, six to eight weeks before the rains. Do not remove the sprouts during this last inspection. At this time, you will also need to prepare your seed bed. Select an area three meters by five meters, which you can easily reach for watering. You will use this seed bed to plant the roots you stored using the Triple S method. These roots will produce enough cuttings to plant out your entire sweet potato crop when the rains begin to provide you with a good sweet potato yield and early maturing nutritious food available well before your other crops.